me coughing that's nice um yeah just final notes on the thing um as i showed you at the end of the last one um there's a few problems when you're sliding between blending between fk and ik um there's a frame in here about there yeah around five you don't want that um I wouldn't worry too much about this. You should either be keying this value at zero or at ten. Um, if you are keying the in between, just just be careful uh, on the change. But I think when you set out to do an animation, each section like rearing on its legs or the walk cycle, you'll probably be FK or IK. You know, you you won't be using both. Um, I'm pretty sure it was caused by when I done the groupings at the end to point constraint. Um, something in those groupings is is causing it to consider one of the bones is upside down. Um, so maybe when you're when you're doing them, uh, have a look see, make sure everything's zeroed properly, and hopefully you won't get the same problem that I was getting. Um, okay. Uh, set driven keys I'm sure you're well used to from 3ds max and I was going to suggest you use them to do things you you, you think will be repetitive um, so find find a controller uh, I guess the the front one might be the best and like we've done before um, add a tribute let's call it leg curl um, we will just make it a float I'm not going to give it any values um, that way it can start at zero and go up or down I can come in and edit it later if I want to actually make an end point where it maxes out at um, or avoid it going into the minus numbers and I'm going to select all these controllers and animate um, s animate set driven key set and where did I add that attribute I added it to this one so you will be the driver on leg curl value um, oh I guess we do add the um, the end and start point in a way in here and let's at zero let's take all these guys I guess I could just select them in this window would have been quicker yeah they're, they're already in what am I doing um, right and I'm gonna take their X Y Z value you might not even need all these you might just need their X rotation and I will key it Okay, um, key these, key these, key these. Um, wondering, will that shouldn't really affect keyframing later on? We'll find out, I'll test it. And let's say 100, that gives us a nice big range. At 100, what do they look like? Select them all and rotating their X should be the same. Y you can go in and fuss with this a hell of a lot more than I intend to. And, you know, tilt that up and make it look like a nice leg curl. That's pretty ugly. Um, and on 100, I'll key each one again. Okay. I think that's done for leg curl. Boom, there we go. So I have, a, I have an extra attribute. And I'm just going to check that I can. I'm hitting the S button to keyframe there. And we'll go to 10. And my leg curl, I'll bring that up to 100. You can go beyond 100 because we never gave it a range, but it'll stop doing anything when it gets that high. And we'll keyframe that. 
there we go so we have a, a new keyable attribute um, something like that might also save you time um, I'm kind of thinking when you're yeah again I'd get rid of this stuff you only really need the FKIK blend switch you don't want people rotating or moving this um, it's your rig so you'll know how it's working uh, you don't really have to worry about it but just for for neatness um, I'd lock that selected now um, let's get on to IK okay it's at a weird position but I can zero it out uh, I was thinking if this was it might be nicer yeah if you're if you're tilting the body up to do that frontal kind of rearing attack you'd have ik on so they should stay in the same position you can pull the body forward and the the back legs would have ik on they'd remain pivoting them to the ground and then the front legs you'd keyframe to um oh what is it ik no fk to fk and use the fk to uh do your pawing thing with them i think i'm explaining that pretty poorly but i i hopefully you, you get what i mean um for the attack for when he raises his front legs and the other ones are on the ground that a mixture of the fk and the ik might be able to help you achieve that um never explained at the start but I, I i left the bottom one out of the ik chain i think it just works better if, if you've got control over that one it's just one extra thing you got to work on to keyframe but i think the chain will just uh just move nicer without it otherwise it'll really crumple up and you'll have a lot less control this way you can control how crumpled up it is and sometimes spiders legs they kind of the the ends just poke out a little bit more to try and reach and find where their footing is so uh, a little more control there might be a good idea okay that's about it i'll zero this all out and save the file and upload all these and uh, let me know how you get on